hello guys uh which again so in this tutorial what we are going to see is how to install ok http 3 inside of uh, our android applications how to add it as a dependency how to sync it and you know how to make it available for our application to use it okay so let's just create a new project a uh, brand new android project i'll just name it like ok http 3 something like that wait okay three demo okay company domain whatever your company that you are working with you know you can actually give the domain accordingly yes and uh, this is the project location i'm pretty sure that you all are aware about the android setup so i'm not gonna go in the detail so it's a 2.3 i'll just make it four for you know just demonstration purpose but ok http 3 is supposed from 2.3 so it should be ok if you are setting you know the api level to like 2.3 i guess api level 9 yeah i'll go with the blank activity and uh, yeah i'll just leave it uh, as it is and it's processing just it will take some time to you know set up the files and everything i guess Okay, it's building. Uh oh. It's taking some time, so just hang on there. Mm, okay. It's almost there. Cradle is setting up your file and path and everything. Okay, so we are there. Let me just close the previous applications that I had open. It's my, you know, interest projects that I just work. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So this is a typical Android Studio structure. When you go, you know, wait, just let me close this file. We don't need XML files in here. Yeah. So this is your typical Android uh, project structure, right? Okay, so how to install, okay, it's, it's a pretty simple. Oh, all you have to do is, you know, go to the dependency and go to the website for the okay, HTTP, yeah. And you can actually, you know, download the jar and add inside of the library. So for example, you might have, you know, the libraries as, uh, uh, if you go with the project structure, you can see the external libraries you can actually add in here you know all the external libraries but uh, the recommended way of doing in the android is you know like uh, going with the android project structure and you know adding it as a dependency so here is the, because we are using griddle tool if you are using uh, maven you can actually you know go through this kind of setup i've never used maven so i'm sorry but i don't know that much about it but I've used Griddle a bit, so I know. So all you gotta do is just paste it, okay? So, and after that, all you gotta do is just sync it. So what the Griddle will do is, you know, it will request uh, the external uh, servers and download the jar file and put it inside of your uh, library. So for example, now if, uh, I think the sync is done. So if I'll go to the project structure and external library, I should see, yes, there is okay HTTP. 3.2 okay so at the time of recording the current version is 3.2 but maybe if you are watching this video after one year or two years you know there may be a lot of changes so you can actually go to the official site and you can check it out you know so okay http is by the way uh, depend on okio okay which is a really efficient way of doing io operations in android so if you are doing something like you know file related io network related io you can actually separately use that library which is also from square square guys are really really good with this library sheet you know in android actually yeah okay so this is it your project is like set up and uh, you can you know take advantage uh, like okay just let me just show you that it's there it's just okay http mm. It should show an autocomplete, I guess. I don't know why it's not showing. <laughs> uh, wait, just don't worry, it takes time. Mm, 
I know, I know, it's difficult, don't worry. So, so you know how to create a client and how to do request and response and everything that I'll show you in uh, you know future tutorials don't worry about that and uh, right now I'll just show you that it's installed see you can see right okay HTTP client from the library okay HTTP 3 means your library is added to the project and you can you know like create client something like client is equal to new okay HTTP client that's it you created the client now you can do client dot you know new call and all those kind of thing I'll just uh, show you in the future tutorials don't worry about it I think you have set up your um, okay HTTP the next tutorial will go through all the functionality you know how to do request and how to get the response and a synchronous call and synchronous call and you know caching and everything so yeah thank you